Hey folks, I just kind of wanted to um, give you a little overview of what I've been working on in the shop the last couple days. I've got lots of pots that need to be drawn on, and so yesterday um, I got started on that. And I just started with these, this, these uh, six or eight cups here. And I just decided to start with the laundry line deco because it's something I'm really comfortable with. I don't have to do much penciling in, and um, it goes pretty well, fairly quick, without uh, too much thought. Um, so I start with this laundry line deco, and I worked my way through these cups. So they've been incised, and a few little dishes here. These two little, two little dishes and a couple plates and then I got started on <clears throat> I'll move over here I got started on I had more cups so I started working on the animals and um, it seems like I just sort of start and things develop and just sort of work their way in and out I will sort of just find ideas that uh, kind of come on that are new some that are old, some that are old but I can sort of have a new take on. Um, some of these front on images are new that I'm working on. Um, the shape of the pot sometimes sort of gives me an idea about what I want to do. Like this cup's kind of tall and so I used more of a tall oval on that one. Um, um, sort of bringing this, I had a had this rat on a couple or on a cup a couple firings ago so I remember that and I did a couple of those and then I sorted this full full body rat around this tumbler so and that'll probably that may get some cross hatching or line work or it may just get scratched away so as as I do these it just seems like I loosen up you know I start with basically what I'm comfortable with and then move on to some things that that are a little more challenging or composition wise maybe at least different than what I've done before I don't know that any of it <clears throat> is terribly terribly difficult but um, basically what I'm looking for are just small changes new ideas um, you know moving things around changing the the eyeball or the mouth or the 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 act you know sort of the action of the maybe the rabbit running or the bird um, moving or just you know the, the facial expressions on some of these things so um so anyway that it just kind of happens slowly and you know like this was a sort of an experimental piece that I worked all the way through yesterday where I drew the flowers and then did this line work between these two lines instead of you know making a panel I made a panel sort of all around the pot um, <clears throat> show you a couple more things over here that these are sort of new little dishes or new little shapes and so um, I think this will be kinda nice looking once I get this drawn in and <clears throat> scratched away just these three flowers and one of the things that I've been thinking about uh, doing more um, at, seems like in the past I kept everything sort of separated from each other there was no overlapping of the imagery and so now <clears throat> I'm opening up to the idea of you know having some things overlap and uh, I mean you know that's just a real small thing but it's just the way that things are sort of taking shape here and I think this rabbit will look nice in this this little pot here once um once he's all finished out. So <clears throat> basically, I'm just looking for small changes and um, paying attention to what's happening and kind of how I'm feeling and um, you know looking at the pots and letting them telling me sort of what to do. And I really like using the pencil. It gives me a lot of opportunity to sort of change things and erase and work back through things and um, that's a good little tool before I do the scratch out work alright so today I started on uh, some plates and I'll talk about those later okay well I hope that was sorta of helpful or at least mildly interesting <laughs> see ya